Hi, you're with Chandeep Chabra at Goodly and in this video, I'm going to talk about that how can you create a human icon which is hollow from inside. So you can see that I have an icon here which is colored from outside but the icon is actually hollow from inside. So let's see how can we do that. We would need two things for, uh, for this. Uh, we would need the human uh, shape and then we would need a box outside to fill it up. So let's see if we can make the shape first and then make a box outside of it. Uh, in the new slide, I'm going to go over to the insert tab, click on shapes and then make a circle. Uh, so the way you make a perfect circle is by holding the shift key when you're drawing the circle. The next thing that I would need is uh, in the shapes, I would need a rounded rectangle to make the body. So I'm just drawing the body, make sure that the body is in the center of the circle. Right. And then uh, what I would need is I would need the lower body. So again, I will just copy and paste this rectangle right here and then uh, reduce the size of this so that these look like the legs as of now. Oops. Okay. So these look like legs and this looks like a head and this looks like the body. The first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to select all these three shapes and then merge them together. So go in the format tab, click on merge shapes and then unite these shapes by clicking on union. Now this has become a single shape. These are not three shapes anymore. Let's try and draw the hands. Uh, I'm going to go over to the shapes and then pick up uh, a rectangle this time. So let's just place the rectangle right here. This is going to divide the shape from here and then make a hand out of it. Uh, so let's see if we can create a hand from here. Okay. Uh, let's see. So I just want to make sure that the border of this rectangle is not overlapping the border of this shape. So they should be touching, but not really overlapping. Right. So the, the next shape in the similar way. So again, zoom in and then see, so it's touching, but not overlapping. So that's fine. The next thing that I want to do is I want to copy the same shape and put it between here so that these look like the legs. All right. So now uh, let's select these three shapes and the united shape here at the back, go in the format tab once again, and then click on merge shapes and then fragment them this time, right? So click on fragment. And uh, what is going to happen is that this shape is now a different shape. This shape is different. This is different. And this is different. And now that, you know, this and this are also fragmented. So what we'll do is we'll combine these two. So again, select these two, go in format, go in merge shapes, and then again, unite them. So this becomes a unit. Now this is become a single shape, right? So you can fill it up with whatever color you want or whatever you want to do. So this has become a single shape. So I will say that I don't want to see an outline here. Now these are of no use to us. I'm just going to delete them. All right. Next, uh, what I want from this shape is that as of now, this shape is filled in blue color, but I don't want to fill the shape. I want to fill the area outside of the shape in any color and the shape is going to be absolutely hollow, right? So let's see if we can do that. I'm just going to go over to shapes once again, and then make a rectangle outside of this. So just going to make a rectangle outside covering the shape. Okay. So after you've drawn the rectangle, what I want you to do is select both the rectangle as well as the shape being the rectangle on top of the shape. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw an area outside this rectangle that is going to make sure that both the rectangle and the shape is selected. You can see that there are two selections here. And I'm going to go back in the format tab once again, and then click this time on combine them, right? When you click on combine, it is actually going to combine them and create a hollow structure for the shape that was placed inside of the rectangle and the rectangle is filled with blue color. And then I just don't want the outline and you have the shape ready.